Engineers from Uganda's Kira Motors recently unveiled what they say is Africa's first solar-powered bus that runs on portable batteries instead of fuel. The vehicle can complete a trip to the country's international airport in Entebbe and back to Kampala on full charge. The prototype was built by over 60 staff with 12 engineers and artisans. Its inventors say they plan to start mass production in 2018. The Kayola solar bus is the first electric and later on solar bus to be built in Africa. What makes this bus pretty different is that from the ordinary buses we have on the road today is that it's an electric bus. It's a battery electric vehicle, meaning that we use energy stored in batteries as charge, which is converted into mechanical energy by a motor, which is multiplied by a transmission to give us the propulsion we need at the differential unit. So this particular bus has uh, an architecture, a powertrain architecture, which provides for a primary and secondary energy storage. The Kayola bus produces no fumes since it runs on clean energy. Less noise and vibrations are also felt while on board, and it costs about $58,000 to produce one bus. Clean technology for propulsion is one of the top advantages of what comes with this vehicle as opposed to that. But also, in terms of running the bus, uh, to charge this bus fully, you're going to consume uh, 75 uh, kilowatt hours. And 75 kilowatt hours are about 750. If you do the math there, we are in the neighborhood of just, uh, just over 50,000 shillings to give you 80 kilometers and a range extension of 12 in a day. So when you try to compare that with your diesel, you're seeing that uh, operating wise, uh, this bus will be more energy efficient. The motor industry is the main source of air pollution in Africa. According to a World Health Organization survey, air pollution causes an estimated 176,000 premature deaths a year on the continent. But with solutions such as the solar bus, that figure might just reduce in future. Mahe Mutua, CCTV.